Hey guys, so I'm going to be posting two highly requested videos today. I'm going to be doing my meat makeup and then my meat hair. I posted some of these on my Instagram stories before, but I thought I would put one permanently on my channel so you guys can go back to it and watch whenever you want. So there's only a couple things that are different than my normal makeup routine, but I always start with concealer, it cosmetics. Um, it's probably one of the best concealers I've ever used. It's very, it's like thick without being too heavy. And for me, I have naturally really dark circles, so it works really well for me. You just kind of just want to blend it all the way out. Like that, and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm going to use a liquid foundation from Bare Minerals. And this is really one of the biggest things that's different than my normal makeup routine. Normally, I just use a powder. But for meats, when we have all the lights and the cameras and everything, it gets a little bit washed out if I don't have a little bit more foundation on. So I always start with this first, and then I put the powder on top to kind of make everything matte. So I'm just put it like a little bit. And then blend it out. This way, you, it like gives you a really even skin tone underneath all those lights where you can see literally every little thing on your face. Next, I'm going to be using my normal Bare Minerals Powder, Bare Pro, in Light Natural, I believe. And I just do what I normally do, just kind of put it everywhere. And you don't really need a lot, you just need enough to blend out all the shininess. So that you're left with really even skin. And you always want to make sure to go down onto your neck a little bit just because it'll look like a complete line of makeup and you don't want that. Next, I have discovered something that's a game changer that I will be doing new for this season. Um, that I do every now and then, just like when I want to dress up nicer or something that I want to make everything look like extra good. I found uh, this lip exfoliator by e.l.f. It's just like the coconut one. And it's just like that. And you just wipe on your lips because it has a, like an exfoliant in it. And it's really easy. If you can see like the little beads that came off. And just like rub it together or like take like a towel and like rub it and it just like exfoliates your lips gets all the dead skin cells off um so that your lips are super smooth before you put on any kind of lip stuff another thing that's new that i found is also from elf it um is a lip plumper and primer i don't really use the primer because it looks kind of like concealer on my lips and that's kind of weird i don't know but um the plumper is really good it has like cinnamon oil in it um so it like stings a little bit, but like, it's not too bad. Plus it's like a really good moisturizer too. So it like plumps and moisturizes at the same time. Next so up is my Urban K Beach Bronzer. I use this every day. Um, it's my favorite one that I've found so far. I just put it like along the underneath part of my cheekbones, my forehead, and then I line my jawline with it just to kind of define everything without being like super sharp lines and contouring because normally don't do that. Next up is the Too Faced Natural Face palette. I use Pink Sand. This is my all-time favorite blush. I pretty much use it every single day, including meat days. So you just put like a decent amount on, but not like too much. And then um, I just rub it in with my hands. 
so that it is nice and blended without looking like pink streaks on your face. Like that. So for eyeshadow, it varies on what Leo we're wearing. I'm gonna show you when I do more of like the orangey tones and using glitter and all that fun stuff. So I'm using my new favorite Naked palette. I like the Naked Honey palette. And I'm gonna start out with um, the color Hive. To be that one where my thumb is. And I just kinda go along my crease up here a little bit, just lightly, just so it's not super dark. And then I bring it down onto my lid. And then just kinda like rub out the line. So it's blended, like that. So I went ahead and did it on both eyes. And then now I'm gonna be using the color Amber, which is the really shiny one, shiny orange one. Just get a little bit of that and put it like right on the lid. I am all about sparkles if you know me, so. You don't want a lot to make it like overpowering, but you want enough to be like sparkly, obviously. Like that. And now I'm just going to lighten up my tear duct area with the lightest color of the palette. I think it's called Flyby. And I'm gonna use the smaller side of the brush. I'm just get enough and just kind of dab it in there like that and then I also like to add a little bit right underneath my brow I like rub it out so it's not like a white line but like to lighten it up a little bit I feel like the key to everything about eyeshadow is blending so like you can put as much as you want on there but if you blend it out enough it's gonna look good next I'm gonna do something that I normally never do I'm going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. Um, like I said before, when we're under all those lights, everything kind of gets washed out. So I try to make some of my features darker so that they show up on TV when we get filmed. So I just kind of go along with how the hair grows. So it looks as natural as possible. See, I'm not like drawing like lines or anything, just like line the underneath and then just kind of go up and go with the hair pattern. And then after you do that, I'm gonna brush it to blend it. And wipe off a little excess, top of the middle one. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna finish off my eyebrows with some eyebrow gel from Urban Decay, just brow finish and clear. Just makes them hold their shape. Like that. Just kind of, you can really do it however. I just like them to look fuller, but also neat at the same time. Next up is probably one of my favorites. I put this on every single day for sure, is black eyeliner. I'm probably gonna do both the upper and lower. Um, start with the waterline and you're gonna want to do like a pretty thick line for this like how I talked about everything being darker like that and then now I'm gonna do the upper lid Just go along your lash line. The, that can be as thick or as thin as you want it. I just like to do it so it makes your lashes look fuller. Next is mascara, and I always use two different mascaras. I use Urban Decay Perversion first, and then I use Too Faced Better Than Sex to go on top of that and make them look, this one makes them look really full, and then this one just like elongates them like insanely one of my favorite methods and my secret methods to make my lashes look really long without wearing fake lashes. So I always go top, top, bottom, bottom. If you watch any of my other tutorials, you know that. I'm just kinda get it even on all of them.
like that. Now for the next one, we're gonna do the same thing. See how full um, using two mascaras makes your eyelashes look? In my opinion, I like it way better than just using one mascara. I feel like I always get a better effect. Like that. Now for the last step, I have a Revlon Matte Lipstick. It's got that orangey tone that I'm looking for. Um, so I just put it on without a liner. You don't always need one. Um, only, you really don't need it. I just used to do it a lot. I really like this one because it's like a really silky matte. So it doesn't like dry out your lips while not looking like super shiny. And the very, very last thing after my lipstick is I use a highlighter, Champagne Pop by Becca. And I just use a little bit because you don't want to look super shiny under the lights. But you just want to have that little pop of shininess, I guess. Like that. And that's all you need. So that is it for my meat makeup tutorial. Stay tuned for the meat hair tutorial that will be coming very shortly after. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.